Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's it's a little bit different this time. Guess what? I'm dropping another video and it hasn't been a month yet. So I'm doing pretty good. And before we get into the video, remember that me and V nailed it. We are going to have an, another class in Los Angeles, June 20th to 21st. And we are going to Orlando premiere this week as well. So just a reminder, if you guys are attending the show, make sure you stop by our booth to come and say hi and, you know, mingle and check out all the products. And we'll be having a lot of deals going on at the shows as well. And the design that we're going to be doing today uh, is going to be the cute pink evil eye designs i know i've done a lot of that on my instagram but i never really launched a video um of me actually doing it on youtube so guess what we're doing that today so check it out guys all right guys this hand is from v nailed it for anybody who asked for from my last video and they just recently launched it you guys don't have it yet you need it and i'm gonna tell you guys why in a bit okay but let's trim the nail tip this is the non-curve coffin tips from not polish trim the edges of the tip just like that so it can fit into the nail bed just like so once that is good we're gonna place a drop of glue right in the middle and i'm just gonna press it down right in the center and you can see that the glue will spread across the nail just like that i don't like to put my glue on my tip and then uh glue it onto the nail i'd like to drop it in the center and once that is good i'm going to trim the nails and with this hand i can actually place the cuticle up to cuticle to level out the nails pretty well I'm pretty impressed with that and this nude that we're going to be using i love this nude i think it's just like a pinkish nude i would say more like a pinkish nude you can use it as a pink or a nude so this is number 197 from not polish as well and uh the brush i know let's get into the the, the uh detail of the brush the brush i'm using right now is number 14 from not polish and it's the aluminum hand aluminum handle i was i wanted to say aluminum foil but it is the aluminum handle and what i love about it is it's not like our old traditional wood handle where it can get ruined pretty easy with the monomer so that's what i really love about it and the hair is um i love that it's really full on these brushes as well and look how beautiful this pink is and um like i said we can use this pink for like a pink or you can use it as a nude i think that, that that's pretty cool and then um uh, i didn't mention in my uh, let's let's talk a little bit about the hand all right look at this hand i don't need to have it on the stand anymore before with my other videos i used to if you guys watch the other videos i show you guys how i place the my other hand on like the stand and what happened is a lot of time it will fall off or it will be hard for me to like pull it towards me without kind of lifting up the uh, stand easily but with this hand i can just place it right directly on top of my mat and i um hold it just like an actual hand which is pretty impressive and guess what maybe i can drop more videos like i said with this easier hand and um look how beautiful this color is and i always use two beads now i know i remember when doing one bead application was like the it goal i mean it could be the it goal for you still but i still love to do my two beads application easier to control and i can um it, i don't know it's more fun to work with just to mold your acrylic having a little extra time just to work it into the nail and then you know pulling it towards the cuticles i mean the tip of the nails and once that is good um you just cut it off and make sure that i mention this all the time i make sure that i keep the shape of the nails a uh, very straight across uh, with um my brush just to make sure that i won't spend a lot of time shaping later on see i'll spend the extra time and um with this color what i really oh and by the way this color will be the perfect color if you want to ombre a pink and a white ombre with this color like the number 101 the soft white oh ooh, no if you guys are starting out number 102 which i always recommend easy to work with and uh, it'll make your ombre a lot easier i me and we've been teaching classes and a lot of time people that take our class they struggle really 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 bad with ombre and once because we, we do 
oh my god i have allergies so bad but we do have 101 and 102 from not polished it's og 101 and 102 in the student kit and let me tell you when they use that to do the ombre they say it's a life it's a game changer it's so much easier than it should be because a lot of time I tell people sometimes it's not the uh it's not you it could be the product okay so with the not polished product super super uh user friendly and um i know in a lot of my videos i don't really like get too much into details about the products but because i want to showcase more like how i do the nails and more so how i um I do my design but today i feel like hey uh let's switch it up a little bit um this is just the basic the basic application which i do a lot in all my videos so if you guys need to see like basic application of how it's done maybe i can tell you right now right here okay so i always always pick up a medium bead okay medium to almost a large for the first bead i place it about 80 percent 75 70 percent to 80 percent of the nail like on top like right at the uh, nail you see how it's like 30 <laughs> 70 to 80 percent of the nails and then while the product if it's still wet i won't pull it down but if it's drying up i pull it towards the tip press and pull that's the technique that i always tell people you press it down on the product and you pull it up press and pull towards the tip of the nail and then uh when you do two beads it's actually a lot easier to build your apex as well and then when you do a one bead it it is really 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 hard to breathe you know what i'm even struggling to eat and breathe at the same time that's how bad my allergy has been you know and i'm pregnant so i can't really take anything for it except for like well i'm i'm taking the nasal spray and i don't think i could do it without the nasal spray so um it has helped me a lot i'm gonna kind of skip through like the shaping process i know we said this a lot in all the videos but i just want to focus more on like the designs today and um i know the design this design takes um it doesn't it's not hard per se but it's more like um time consuming okay just time, a little bit time consuming but it's really not hard design to do so once i have the shape all good i'm gonna buff it and, and i'm actually before buffing it i always flip the client hands around like that to make sure i'm checking i'm covering all my angles make sure that it looks straight my way their way or whatever way it is and then before i always always go in with the matted top coat on top of the finished nail matted top coat a thin coat of the matted only a thin coat okay and then we're gonna cure it once that is done we're gonna cure it in, in the light for 30 seconds and the reason why we do the matted top coat is because um we want a really 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 smooth surface to paint our design on so that um our line will look super straight okay if you guys don't do this trust me just do it and you will notice the uh difference in your line works so thin layer matted make sure you clean off the edges and before we cure them so i'm gonna stick it under my light for like about 30 seconds and then I'm cure it and now i have a really smooth surface to go to work with and today we're gonna be using the um this is a lot of people ask me what kind of brushes i use this is the only brush i use the fine line art brush for not polish and the gel liner art of course they have the pastel collection they have the regular collection or um multiple collection but um i use the i'm just using the basic gel liner art today and i mix it with a little bit of white to kind of lighten up the pink a little bit that's why there's 12 colors but you can mix to turn it into a ton of colors which is some white polish and then we're just going to mix it so i can lighten up the pink just a bit and then make sure um while you stir the color together that there's no air bubble okay because it might tra the, the air bubble might transfer over to the nail so make sure remove all the air bubbles while you stir and stir and stir and the polish up and um this is how i do my french there's other ways to do french but i always start from one corner swipe it in midway of the nail and then finish it off towards the other corner and um i'm gonna kind of outline the french first you see once I have the corners done, I I mean, I have the smile line on, I'm going to cover the edges of the nails just like so. And once that is finished, I'm just going to color it in. This is, see, super easy, right? So do your deep French and then we're going to color it in 
just like so and when i'm doing the french i like to use gel polishes and i only use one coat of gel and i use my fine line art brush to actually draw on the deep french and color in it in as well with the fine line art brush i feel like my gel um when i paint it on it doesn't get streaky okay once that looks good i'm gonna cure in the light for 30 seconds just so we don't mess it up now let's go back into the deep french again start one corner swoop it around and then once that is good i'm gonna connect it upward like this usually i just flick my brush upward like backwards like that i feel like that's a lot easier to do and then again i want to cover the edges of the deep french first now once that is finished you only have like a small uh, section to work with right right in the center just like so and then we we'll color it in using the same art brush okay and don't use the uh, big thick brush from the polish i don't know not the 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 bigger brush i like to use with the smaller brush i feel like the gel goes on more even as you can see let me um zoom in a little bit on the pinky do you see how um even that looks and now i'm gonna use the gel liner art brush okay this brush actually comes with the gel liner art and then i'm gonna do the outside of the hand first doing it this way to make sure that i have enough room on both sides so this is the first step you would do right here get your thumb and your pinky out the way first now you're 100 percent sure that uh the whole hand's gonna fit right because you already have the thumb and the pinky inside already so now i want to go in with the rest of the hand and i'm just taking a tiny tiny bit of the paint from the gel line art because with this oh shoot i can't breathe with this uh design you don't want a lot of paint on your paintbrush because your line won't be as thin and i want my line as thin as possible you can see the tip of my brush that there's barely any paint on them okay and with this a gel liner art the paint is so pigmented that you only need a tiny tiny bit on the tip of the brush to even draw you see how fine that is and uh and again with the gel liner art the tips the nail the, the the tip of the brush is really really fine and that's why i don't need a lot of nail art brushes i can just i just usually have one and then i have my gel liner art just to do the rest of my design and then i'm gonna do these little dots right here you can see how i have now with this dot of course i want more paint at the tip of the brush to make the thick dots right to make like a flowery dot so does that make sense so make sure once that's done i usually you can use a dotting tool but i just use a brush to do it to do my dots okay and then now i already cured the nails for 30 seconds and i'm gonna go back with the same you see how i'm actually removing all the paint from the um from the uh, stick the the make sure you remove all the paint from the whole brush not just the the the, the um the the hair on the brush does that make sense not just that part but like the whole stick because we don't want to draw on the design and then there's going to be paint dripping down so make sure we remove all the paint from the whole brush all the way up to this um, plastic stick and you can see that i'm not actually like when i'm when i need a little bit more paint on my brush i won't actually dip my brush into the bottle because that will well uh, that will pick up too much paint right i won't do that so i'm gonna need more uh, watch i'm gonna need a little bit more paint and i will just lightly uh i will just lightly tap you see i just kind of lightly tap it against the um the neck of my bottle just to pick up a little bit of paint because if i was to dip this brush all the way down into the jar uh the bottle i will pick up too much paint and i don't want too much paint so i'm just gonna lightly tap it against the neck of the bottle just to pick up a tiny bit of paint just like this you see just a tiny bit and then of course um it, i think it'll be a lot easier if you guys use a dot it <laughs> What I do dotted dotted tools for the uh, circles, but of course um, I'm a little bit lazier, so I just use the tip of the brush to do my dots as well. And again, see, not dipping it into the bottle at all. If you do that, you're gonna pick up too much paint, and we don't want this. So this is how, and make sure you can see that I will place my pinky 
on my other pinky just to make sure that my finger is super stable so that it's not shaky all over the place to make sure that my lines go on straight and i have more control so always always doesn't matter when you paint you uh, when you do design or you just do polish or whatever it is make sure you stabilize your hand your drawn hand on the on your other hand does that make sense so look i'm gonna go in place my pinky directly on my other hand just to make sure i have absolute control of this brush because if i don't place my pinky there it'll be hard for me to control the brush okay and again i don't dip my brush all the way into the bottle okay do not do that that'll pick up too much polish just a little bit and then uh I don't know if I asked you guys yet, but uh, what is the best remedy for allergies? I have terrible, terrible sinus right now. I My nose is not runny, but it's stuffy. And I blow my nose like I have a runny nose. But in reality, my nose is not runny. It's just really, really stuff. Alright, so what, what was the best things to do for that okay now i'm gonna use the white gel line art to do the eye so i told you this design is not really hard it's just time consuming because you have to dry in between each layer just to make sure that you know if you mess it up you can wipe it off yeah so i think it's the drying process in between each layer that can take a little bit longer than uh, a lot of other design but the design itself is not that card i don't think so all right see i'm using again just my gel liner art guys uh, you, if you guys don't have this kit make sure you guys go get this kit not only that it comes in 12 colors that you can mix it into a ton of other colors but i just love the brush how the brush is it's super fine for us to do fine line works okay and then dotting tool now i have my dotting tool and i'm gonna do the circle and to make the circle a little bit bigger i just kind of like keep spinning it in a circular motion and it would just the circle would just automatically get bigger like that and then once it's finished we have to cure under light <sighs> for 30 seconds i it is really hard to talk and breathe when you can only pick one you either can talk and not breathe or, or you can, can breathe and just not talk at all but you cannot have i cannot have both right now it's really really hard and um dotting i love doing little dots i think it's so fun so one dot and then i'm not gonna dip it back into the gel because that might make that might pick up too much of the paint and um make my dots it doesn't go like from large to small so when i'm doing the dots i just dot it down once the first dot go down i'm just gonna go all the way down okay and then again make sure we cure it so we can go in with the darker gel liner art as well and then uh, we're gonna outline the eye and remember again stabilize your fingers on your pinky always use your pinky to stabilize it on the other hand okay i don't care where you put your pinky at but usually some people use the index finger but i, I feel like it's easier for me to use the pinky and um like i said okay to stabilize it so a lot of people I, when i'm working on clients they're like oh my god how how your hand is how you have such a stable hand i'm like no i'm kind of shaky right now from all the coffee i'm drinking but um it's just the way i'm holding my hand to make sure that it's stable and it's not shaky it's by how i'm holding how i place my pinky on top uh, you know you, you get the point i'm rambling now okay so again don't dip the brush back into the brush okay want to go in and just kind of uh do the lines only a little bit of paint goes a long ways as you can see this is so pigmented that only a little bit goes a long ways and then i'm gonna bring back my um pot of paint <laughs> my plate of paint and then i'm gonna actually mix some uh, white with the paint to kind of lighten it up again once again uh i think i need new gel polishes or gel paint gel liner art and polish and white especially in general all my bottles are super empty and i'm like you would think that i have all like the 
fresh bottles but no all my bottles are pretty kind of it looks pretty beat up and it's really empty i use it to like the last drop okay so if you guys see my bottle looking all like raggedy that means it's it, it, it i put it through good use and then here and then black dots look how cute this is super cute right and then now same we're gonna go in for the uh other design the eye the evil eye but i use my my gel liner to do circles as well and uh again if when i want a lighter color of pink i just added some white to the pink and kind of stir it up together and like i mentioned make sure we remove all the air bubbles before we do it okay and anyone is anybody going to orlando premiere this year um i know i am <laughs> i just feel like i had this conversation with you guys not long ago and here we are again orlando premiere if you guys don't know what orlando premiere is orlando premiere is the uh, biggest hair and nails convention makeup as well uh, hair and nails makeup convention it's a beauty convention in orlando florida is humongous it, it takes a two-day show and you will not be able to walk the whole floor of all the booths of all the other brands that will be there all i bet you most of your favorite brands will be there and uh if you're a hairstylist or a nail tech or a makeup artist i think you should really take the time out to attend the show not only you get to see the new product that has not been launched yet but also uh they will be teaching you a lot of techniques that you can take home to uh you know to bring back to your salon or your studio to really put it to use so you get you see like they will have people like especially hair hair is really fun they'll have a bunch of people on stage you don't do like live color and live cut and all that and i, I bet you can ask questions as well and there's a lot of lots of classes for good pricing that will be held there and this year have i i have decided i will be working the not polished booth this year so it'll be super fun and if you guys want to see me uh do all the nail art all the nails <sighs> wow this is uh i am struggling guys this allergy is kicking my butt okay but anyways if you guys want to see me do um how i do my nails in real life you guys should definitely come and not only that there's all also there's gonna be a lot of products at a discounted price so if you're local make sure you attend and if you're not local please uh if you could you should attend uh prices for the uh products will be at a discounted price and um you get to learn all the tips the tricks from all your you know you you'll be surprised there's so many nail artists so many hairstylists that's like really really well known that's gonna be there as well so maybe you can get to meet people who who inspire you to get into the industry or just inspire you to get better it just maybe you meet them there and that's the fun part about it and i i love attending these shows even though it's a such a far flight for me if i'm uh uh you know i live in san diego florida and to fly there it literally would take me like a day it's the time change and like the five hours flight it's it's incredible so if you guys live in florida i will envy you during that time <laughs> all right look you see i just again all my designs are done with my gel liner art directly from the uh, uh bottle i know a lot of time um people don't use like people don't like to use the brush from the gel like the bottle itself because sometimes they a lot of time you know the brush the brush that comes with the bottle aren't as good i think they feel like more plasticky does that make sense like if you ever work with a brush that is not a good brush it's really really hard to do your design so if a brush feels very plasticky meaning um when you press down on the brush to do your line the brush kind of bend you know <laughs> bend in a really really weird way so 
if you don't have a good brush, I suggest you invest in a good, good brush. And I'm laughing like a crazy lady because um, it's really funny to try to, you know, talk and uh talk not like you know talk regularly is fine but to hold an actual long conversation and talk it's um it, it feels a little bit of a workout and look look i'm gonna show you guys how good how how flexible this brush is you see this little what do you call it it's this little like ribbon looking thing around the design look how flexible this brush is it will bend wherever you want it to go you see that with when you don't have like a decent brush when you go to do that it won't follow you it will just bend weirdly so again when you guys are starting out make sh just because you're starting out does not mean that we don't deserve good products okay just because you started out you don't think like oh i'm just gonna get something really cheap it'll be cheap for me to practice with but the hard part is how can you practice when the product doesn't want to work with you not only are you struggling to you know learn how to do nails now you and then the product just won't cooperate with you so make sure even though we're starting out make sure we do invest in um good products okay not don't this thing because it's cheap it's good for practice always practice with the good stuff so it make your life easier and then it's easier to control and easier to understand um the uh, fundamental of the nails all right and um make sure if you guys are on not polish i uh i don't know if i mentioned this in my video but i do i i re not recently but well yeah recently i do spend my time to actually list all the products that or the numbers that i use from not polish on the description in the description box so make sure you guys don't know or like yeah, do i <laughs> if i said it too fast and you guys didn't get what color i'm using or what i'm using it will be listed in the description box i've been really good about listing it for you guys as well and uh you know it, it's just i, I love um i was gonna tell you guys, i just love doing nails that's <laughs> so random but yeah i love doing nails it's so fun oh by the way um me and v will be hosting another class pretty soon in los angeles california so if you guys are um i know we get i get a lot of messages asking uh when are we coming to la um not la per se but like more like california so if you're one of the ones that asked that this is your sign that make sure you sign up to our class our two days class training two days class in la this uh coming month in june okay wow make sure we invest in ourselves it's you you know sometimes we feel like we know everything but it's, it's good to see things and learn things in another perspective in another way of how people do things and sometimes it works better for you and um sometimes you know <laughs> all right i'm just gonna again i mix the gel liner art the blue one with a little bit of white to lighten it up and uh i feel like um with this design it's just um it's not very technical it's just really time consuming so i didn't go into like too much details and i just want to you know sit here and have a conversation with you guys rather than me getting deep into explaining the same thing over and over and over <laughs> and then now once this is finished i'm gonna look drain all the polish off the uh, brush i only need a little bit okay or one line to do a straight line just one line straight down okay do not lift up your brush until you meet you get to your destination which is right in the center that's when you lift it up you see that one long stroke if you're doing this make sure one long stroke that's how you get the lines to be straight and if you are constantly picking up and lifting up your brush lifting up your brush lifting up your brush your line will be very jagged okay so just one long stroke and then the black dots in the middle uh 
just like that look how cute that is okay it's here for 30 seconds and i want to finish it off with a matted top coat and you guys probably wondering hey the picture that i posted for the thumbnail doesn't look like this design well wait not yet i saved the middle finger for um no actually i did a video for my tiktok and my instagram for the middle finger and i'm just gonna insert it in it rather than me sitting there doing the design but this is the finished look look how cute with a matted top coat okay so <laughs> see this is how again gel liner art always do the outline of the eye first and then for the lighter gel of course i mix the white gel with the pink and then you know like i said it's not too crazy complicated just time consuming with always have to dry in in between each layer and then once this is on uh dots dots and then we're gonna cure under the light and then matted top coat all right guys uh, i this is the best i can do with the voiceover i'm getting tired with this allergies but this is the finished product look how cute i'll see you guys on the next video